4th from 6 a.m. until 6 p.m. Uh, also the next day from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. And then the final day will be 6 a.m. to 3 p.m. Amen. And Pastor is asking that all of us would come together corporately, amen, at various times throughout this fast that we would come together corporately, amen, for the cause, amen. Praise God. Um, second Sunday, Youth Sunday, Elder James and Missionary Angela Allen in charge. First, second, and fourth Tuesday is YPWW, Elder James Allen, teacher and Sunshine Band, Sister Leela Alexander, and Missionary Angela Allen, teachers. So, uh, Sister, A Sister Alexander, excuse me, is the president of the Sunshine Band. Third Tuesday, purity class um, to be announced. Sister Jackie McDaniel is the president. Uh, also, there will be a hospital meeting September the 11th following a uh, Bible study. Uh, Sister Allen is asking that you all would attend, those of you. Amen. Praise God. Women's Department staff meeting Tuesday the 11th at 7 p.m. Okay. Uh, Lady Donna Burrell is chairing that meeting. Blood pressure screening Sunday, September the 16th, 2012 during Sunday school until church time. Need volunteers to sit at registration table to help with uh, this process for the next five months. So see uh, Lady Donna Burrell, a man, to volunteer to help with that endeavor. Uh, Carriage Town Outreach Services, that's going to be on the fourth Wednesdays at 6 p.m. And um, we certainly would love it if you could come and go. Uh, Holy Ghost Church Ministry School of Evangelism will resume classes Wednesday, September the 5th at 6 p.m. Elder Dr. Greg Coleman and Elder James Allen in charge. Uh, the book club, the date has been changed again. We're trying to uh, find a more accommodating date and that's going to be the third Friday, Friday at 1 o'clock. Um, also, missionary classes Tuesday, September the 25th. Lady Donna Burrell is the instructor at 7 p.m. Fourth Sunday Men and Women's Council meeting at 6 p.m. Elder Robert Allen and Church Mother Genevieve Simpson will be chairing those meetings. Health tip September is uh, Healthy Aging Month on annual health observance designed to focus national attention on the positive aspects of growing older, uh, not the negative. Uh, engage in activities that will rejuvenate and impact your spirituality, physically, socially, and, and financially, and mental wellness. Remembering God made body, soul, and spirit. All right, older adults getting regular physical exercise are 60% less uh, likely to uh, get dementia. All right. Elder Willie Kidd is having a march on September the 29th at 1 p.m. It's called Help a Friend Day. And um, you can write his number down, 309-5802. Uh, again, you can contact Elder Kidd. Our own elder is having a march, a Help a Friend Day. Amen. Praise the name of God. So contact Elder Kidd at 309-5802 for more information. All right, Flint Prayer Chain Day, September the 22nd. That's on a Saturday. Uh, that's uh, Evangelist Geneva Spears, and there's here's a number. Our church usually participate. We take Addison Street, and we stand out there. We witness. We pray for. It's an awesome endeavor to give back to the community during outreach. Amen. Yeah. Save the date, Monday, September the 24th. You are invited to attend a community job fair. It's time that we work together as a community to put our neighbors back to work. Where? At New Jerusalem Full Gospel Baptist Church, 1035 Carpenter Road in the city of Flint. Elder Patrick Sanders is the pastor. The time is 10 a.m. until 3.30 p.m. Again, that date is September the 24th. Uh, the job fair will include major employers. Proper dress is required. No gym shoes. Please bring an updated resume. Yes. Yes. All right. Yes. Stop the senseless killings. Morning for the murder or walkathon hosted by evangelist and prophetess Paulette Strong will be held here at Holy Ghost Church on October the 13th, 2012, assembling at Burston Field House beginning at 1 p.m. The address is 3300 North Saginaw Street, located on the corner of Pasadena and North Saginaw Street. Ribbons giveaway uh, honoring your loved ones. The walkathon begins from Burston Field House again, ends at 801 Addison.
Manassas Street at Holy Ghost Church Ministries. Refreshments will be served at the end of service. Evangelist Strong is asking for a, a donation of $5 or more. Donations um, with food for this event. Thank you for your support and prayers. Amen. All right, Genesee County Kojic Alliance presents the seven I Ams. The seven I Ams at the Old Landmark, Monday, September the 17th, 2012, at Holy Ghost Church Ministries, 801 Addison, uh, right here in the city of Flint. Dr. Robert Burrell is the pastor, host pastor. Superintendent Quentin Marshall is the president. And the speakers are on Dr. Donna Jean Burrell, amen, praise God. Dr. Tamika Atkins, uh, Sister Marie Rice, Minister Sharon Tyson, Evangelist Althea Jones, Evangelist Sherilyn Gibbons, Elect Lady Cheryl D. Shields. Amen. Praise God. All right, we're going to acknowledge our birthdays and uh, anniversaries. Okay, thank you. James Burke. On the 6th, Evangelist Pam Turner on the 16th, Angela Alexander on the 22nd, Edith Cox on the 26th, Robert Allen, is that Junior? Yeah. Robert Allen Jr. on the 11th, amen, praise God. And Sam is on the 3rd, excuse me, amen, praise God, brother Sam is on the 3rd. Okay. All right. Amen. Praise God. Darius. All right. Okay. All right. Let's continue to pray for, visit, call, and check on these uh, persons. Sandy Barr, Frank DeBruce, Toriel L. Kidd, Kenneth Strong Jr., Ishmael Collins, Daisy McGee, Mary Holcomb, James and Faith Montgomery, Deacon Fred January, Bama Wilson, Francis Shields, Teresa Adams. She was in the house. Amen. All right. Amen. Praise God. She is in the house. Amen. At this time, praise God. We'd like to ask all of our visitors to please stand. And I'm especially happy today. Uh, John's aunt is in the house. And I'm so happy to see her. Stand up, Aunt Rosie. Um, have words, will you? Glad to be here. And it's a happy occasion. I thank Rita for all the things she's done for my nephew. I thank the family of the church. I just want to say, God bless you all. Amen. 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 And I'm drawing a blank, but you know I know you. I've been knowing you all for years. Stand up, son. This is Rosie's son. I'm drawing a blank. Introduce yourself and say something. Mama. Yeah, we call him Mama, but tell him your real name. Uh, how you doing? How you doing, Frida? Good. Yeah, I know I'm calling Bubba a lot all the time. Uh, it's a pleasure to be here, and uh, I thank God for uh, being here with me today. God bless you, Amen. Amen. And the young man sitting right behind his mother. Amen. Stand up, Wesley, and say something to us. That's Rosie's son. Both of those are her sons. Say something to us. Good morning, church family. Uh, Amen. I'm just glad to be here in the pleasant presence of the Lord and have my mother here. Uh, it was very inspirational when she told me she had contacted you and you motivated her to get on up and come on down and worship. Amen. Amen. So uh, I'm just finding joy in that. I don't know how to put it into words. I'm just grateful for you guys. And uh, thank you for having me and my whole entire family. Amen. Let's give the Lord praise for this family. I tell you, I'm so emotional. There's a very fine young lady sitting in the, in the back. She didn't stand, but we crossed paths, paths many times. And would you like to stand and just introduce yourself? Okay. Okay, this is her card. We don't want to make her uncomfortable. Sister Tanya Johnson, amen. Let's give the Lord praise for her. And all of our other well worshipers, uh, Stanley's, um, I'm saying Stanley, amen. The Whitehead family, let's give the Lord praise. And I see another young lady with them. Would you like to have words? This is my mom, Debbie. Amen. Let's give the Lord praise. God is good. Amen. Praise God. I'm sorry, excuse me. My name is Rosie also. And I want to say that this is the day the Lord has made. Yes. 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 Lord, and I am going to enjoy it. Amen. 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 Let's give the Lord praise. There's another young lady sitting right up here in the front. 
Amen. Would you like to introduce yourself? We're not trying to embarrass you. We just want to celebrate our visitors. Amen. Amen. Let's give the Lord praise. Praise God. God is good. All right, Pastor. I'm done. Okay, the choir.
Maguire. of the Lord today. Amen. It's, a, it's good. I had somebody at the hospital the other day he said, uh, it's good to be seen. Amen. Because everybody didn't make it. Amen. But it's good to be seen today. Amen. I want to say thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Last Sunday we were at uh, Morningstar Missionary Baptist Church and was a wonderful fellowship. Wonderful. Hallelujah. Thank you, saints of God. Thank you. It was wonderful. Amen. Good fellowship. Um, I want to make one announcement. Everybody listen. I want to introduce Demetrius and Sarita Jones.
but you have to do your best. Amen. Amen. All right. Children are going back to school. Parents, don't applaud. Don't applaud. And you get to go to school box and learn. Because this is your future. We got ours. This is your future. Go to school with an attitude. I'm there to learn. Amen. The teachers don't just pick on you. You're there to learn. That's your life. Because you haven't started yet. And don't be in such a hurry to leave home. Listen to me. It takes money to live. It takes, consumers' powers don't play with you. The water bill don't play with you. So we're just trying to admonish you to, you know, get your education so that you can go out and get that career that you're looking for and you can pay your own bills instead of talking to mom and dad all the time. Responsibility. Amen. 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 <laughs> All right. Listen, listen. Back in January, we had a fast, corporate fast, a Daniel fast. Yeah. And we've been enjoying our year. Many people have gone on vacations, outings, or whatever. Wonderful, wonderful. But now it's time to bring it back in. Bring the mind back in. Get the focus back. So, Tuesday. Tuesday through Friday. I'm, I'm talking about something the Lord has spoke to me about. Okay? I, I'm not telling you because Ella Burrell wants you because I can't help you any. But Tuesday through Friday. Six till six. Okay? You want to eat after six? Fine. But it's time to bring our focus back in. We've had a wonderful year. And I'm not going to mess with Monday because I got plans already. But Tuesday through Friday, let's bring it back in. Bring the focus back in. We've been out enjoying, you know, and, and that's wonderful. I, I applaud that. But it's time to bring it back in. Bring the focus back in. God wants to do, do something before this year ends with us. You know, um, we want to uh, manifest God to the world, starting at home. Okay, but you got to bring it back in. You got to get that focus back. We've got to, because you see, so many times when situations come up, sometimes we may be a little out of sorts and it don't come out just right. Bring that focus back in where we can handle the spirit of God in us and show the world that this thing is real. Amen. All right. Amen. I think that's all that I had. Uh, so, but before we leave, we want to pray with our children that they would have a wonderful year in school this year. Amen. Now, go to the book of 2 Peter. 2 Peter. Thank you, Chief. The book of 2 Peter, the first chapter, beginning at the fourth verse. It says, Whereby are given unto us exceedingly great and precious promises, that by these you may be partakers of the divine nature, having escaped the corruption that is in the world through lust. And beside this, given all diligence, to your faith, virtue, and to virtue, knowledge, and to knowledge, temperance, and to temperance, patience, and 
and to patience, godliness. And to godliness, brotherly kindness. And to brotherly kindness, charity. For if these things be in you and abound, they make you that you shall neither be barren nor unfruitful in the knowledge of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. I want to introduce a fellow to you. I don't have a name for him, but just a nice brother. The brother is here today and dress nice. Don't, don't he look good? Wonderful. Well, you know, people can dress up all over the world. You see him on television every day. You know, you get the gospel music awards. You get the hip hop awards. Oh, they can dress good. Let me ask you a question. What's on the inside? What's on the inside? You see, because when God tells us about a certain thing, the 
inside. Now, this fella looks good. I mean, he's all decked out. Man, he looks good. What's on the inside? Well, let's, 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 let's check him out. See, because I can't check out what's inside of you, but I can check out what's inside of him. So, when you come before God, you know, you can go in there. Hey, Lord, I'm ready. Got my suit on, got my tie on, got my sanctified. He said, wait, 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 wait. I'm not looking at that. He said, I'm looking for some faith. <laughs> I'm looking for some virtue. I'm looking for some knowledge. Now, 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 now remember, the scripture says, let a man examine himself. So as we go down the list, check it out. What do you got? What do you got down there? Huh? You got any faith? Because the scripture says, when Jesus says, when I come back, will I find faith? Oh, yeah. So he wants some faith. He wants some virtue. And he's looking for some knowledge. Woo! Looking for some temperance. Oh, come on now. Do you know what temperance means? Let me give you a little example. We were at the restaurant and a, and a person says now, you know, usually when I come to a place like this, man, I fill it up. Temperance means don't. It means show your limitations. Get just what you're going to eat. And you know what the sad part about it is? You see, whenever the church has a dinner, you know, free, oh man, give me, give me that. And you look in the garbage afterwards, just because it's free, don't mean it's right to waste it. So, once again, what have you got on the inside? Oh, everybody looks good here. I mean, I can't find a person out with that I could put down anywhere. Hey, you look good. For what I can see. But guess what? The Lord is looking. And what did he say? He said, you look on the outward. But I look on the inside. So what's on the inside? Now, he tells us now, you got to have something. Now, he's not just naming these things just to fill up the pages. But he's saying it because I want you to have something. One more, one more, one more example. Energizer. Now, everything that's supposed to be in there, built in there, it's in there. But guess what? Nothing is active in there. It's all gone. So you know what it's good for? That's all. So, 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 so listen, listen, listen very carefully. If these things be in you and abound. Now, 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 that word abound, this is the King James Version. Now, you read other versions, it says active. Active. If these things be in you and they're active, guess what? They're going to change your attitude. They're going to change the way you change the way you look at other people. But you got to have it on the inside. If these things be in you and abound, they make you that you shall neither be barren nor unfruitful in the knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. And all he's saying is, listen, you know, sometimes when we say have a good church service, whoa, and the saints, oh, the spirit of God moves and people go home and something happens. What happened to all of that spirit? See, because he comes to bless 
cleanse us, not just to make us feel good, but he comes to settle us, to give us foundation in the Lord. But if you don't watch out, if you're not careful, if you don't stay prayerful in the Gospels, it tells us about a sower. He sows the seeds. And as soon as he says he sows the seeds, some of it go into good ground. But you got to be careful because it says the enemy comes to take it out of your heart. Did you catch that? See, he sold the seeds. It got into your heart. It got the right thing. But the enemy is there to take it out. And if he takes it out, you're just the same old rotten person that you were before. Because you got nothing to change. So he says here, if these things be in you, now see this fellow, now he, he, can, he can see, he can cover up, you know. But it's in there. It's in there. What was that commotion they used to have? It's in there. Ragu. It's in there. Where's the, where's the, 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 I forget the ingredients. But anyway, it's in there. Well, you got to have this in there. Faith, virtue, knowledge, temperance, patience. Woo! Today, short-tempered, got some mad riders out there in the street. I mean, you pull up close to somebody. Where's the patience? And I don't pass them. Oh my goodness. And after patience, it says godliness. Oh, oh, oh. Isn't it remarkable? You can talk to people all week long. Man, I, I'm going to your church. I, I, I'm going to. I get promises all the time, but I haven't seen them yet. Especially if you go downtown to the Genesee County Jailhouse. Man, preacher, soon as I get out of here, I done got, see, they gave me this Bible, and I've been reading it, and man, I'm changed. I'm coming, man. I tell them all the time, I say, look, it's good that you read your Bible, but get it here. That's it. Because as soon as they open that door, to the fellow that got you in there, you don't hear his voice. I sure don't. But as soon as you walk out that door, we ain't gonna get caught this time. What you mean we? <laughs> and, 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 and most of the time, revolving revolving. Next time I go down there, you know, you get a group of people in in, 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 in a Bible study group, you know, they duck it behind somebody else. I don't care. You the one did it, I didn't. But we gotta have some patience and some godliness and some brotherly kindness. Oh, Many people, I'm talking about church folks now, are short of things. God have mercy. What you mean mercy? I told you. I told you. See, because when we go before God, no excuse will stand. Pastor Strong used to say, you know, come to church, got the word, preacher saying, hey, Till next Sunday. Amen. Amen, preacher. Go home. That's why people come up short. 
You see, we're not here just to bug you, to, to get on your nerves. We're trying to tell you what it's going to take to get out of here. Because Jesus, listen to me, listen to me, in case you didn't know, Jesus is not coming back here. <laughs> oh, I didn't think you knew that. Jesus is not coming back here. He tells us plainly, you got to meet me. You got to meet me. Now, if you don't meet him, Lord, I, I'm not coming back down there. I did that once. And I gave my best for you. And all I did was ask you to change. You wouldn't change? Bye. You got to have this in you. Inside of you. All, all, all of these things he tells us for a reason. And then he says, if these things be in you and be active. Yeah, yeah. See, the, you, you got to have, not just to get it, but it's got to be active in you. And if it's not active, then you got nothing to take you out of here. It's going to be a sad day. Oh, it's going to be a sad day. Jesus says in the Gospels, people come before him, Lord, I did this in your name. I did that. I never knew you. Lord, I was in church every Sunday. I don't care. I don't know you. You see, because people come to church doesn't mean. That's right. That's right. How many times have you been out somewhere and it kind of bothers me as a minister, as a pastor? I'm a member of Holy Ghost Church. Yeah? I didn't know that. I was there when that was strong. Man, that's 16 years ago. Well... I forget, um, used to be a preacher here. He was here when Ellen Miller was here. We seen his daughter down at the, at the, not baby, uh, he was here when Ellen Miller was here. Uh, every now and then he'd be, anyway, she told me who she was. And, uh, you know, you know, when you're not dressed, you know, she kind of said it real soft, so she was kind of, you know. But you know what? I greeted her just as nice. But you know, you grow up in holiness, yeah. and then you take another turn, yeah. you know. And and when you see people that you should be glad to see, well, you know. So, but I greeted her just as I'm so glad to see you. Amen. God bless you. But I knew, you know, your, your attitude, your, your, your way, who you with and how you dress, that tells me a lot. I don't come down on people because they know better. She was already stepping, you know, she was stepping way back, you know, she didn't want to step up and, but, uh, you know, well, I got nothing for you, but the Lord does. And so he gives us instructions. And to your faith virtue. Add to your faith knowledge. Add temperance. Add patience. Add godliness. Add brotherly kindness. Add charity. If these things, if these things, now, Jesus you have to notice he didn't he don't make you do nothing he said if these things be in you so that that means you got something to say about that if these things be in you then ah you got favor with God. Yes, See, when these things attack us, you have the authority to cast it out. Because you got something in you that says no. Yeah. Oh, 
But if you don't have it in you, now let me come natural. All of us have what they call antibodies in our blood system. These things fight off disease, fight off the bad guy. But if they're not healthy, which means if we don't eat right, get our proper rest, then when we're attacked with something, the antibodies take it out, drive it away. But if our system is down, we don't take care of ourselves, every little thing comes along. Ah, ah, oh, I got the flu. <laughs> I don't believe in them fellas. So I just reject it. No, I'm not going to have the flu. People take flu shots. You had your shot? No, I don't take shots. You know what? I get my shot every day. I get my shot every day. Now, if you get your shot, good. I'm not, I'm not fighting that. That's the extra protection, whatever. You know, but I, 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 I take my shot. And I tell the flu, stay away from me. And I haven't had the flu in years. Now, like I said, I'm not fighting nobody. If you get your shot, wonderful. That, that, that's good. But I don't. Now, if I happen to fall down, you know. <laughs> but there, there's something I must do. If I don't eat right, if I don't treat myself right, if, if I don't act right, and my system is down, then when that fella come along and bump me, <laughs> I have to take care of myself. So, if these things be in you and be active, then you have a system that says no. I will not partake with you. I will not. Now, many times, people will approach you and ask you or invite you to a situation that they're going to. And if you say no, you're going to be talked about, going to be ridiculed, you're going to be called names. So, Amen. But see, a lot of people don't like that. Well, I don't want people to think that I'm a, you know, so I, I'm just going to go. I'm not going to partake, but I'm going to, I'm not going. I'm not going. Now, the other day, I, you know, I, you know, I go to my sister's house, and uh, my brother's in, in a motorcycle club, and a couple of the fellas came by. And, uh, man, I want you to come. I said, no, I'm not going. And, and, you know, they want to bargain. Well, how you expect me to come to your church? You don't have to. I didn't ask you to come. But I'm not going to your affair. Because I know what goes on there. You know, because he tells me all the time. He says, I know, because they go out to the, what you call the liquor dealer. They don't have to have a license because he says, I'm not selling it. What are you doing with all that stuff? <laughs> they party in and do whatever they want to do. But see, I tell them, no, I'm not going. And if you don't want to come to Holy Ghost Church, God bless you. But I, I never tell anybody you're going to hell. I, I don't do that. But they know. They know. <laughs> man, man, man. I'm sorry I said that. I might pop in on you anyway. Hey, it's up to you. But I'm not going to your faith. Because I know what goes on there. <laughs> but Jesus said, if these things be in you and abound and be active, they make you that you won't be buried. In other words, when, when the enemy comes to attack you, you got something to fight back with. Remember Jesus out there in the wilderness? He put it on him. I mean, he whooped that guy's head. But I asked him how that felt. Amen. He popped him upside his head. He had to change the subject. Well, I can't talk about that. Let me talk about this. It is written. Pow! <laughs> Nothing worked. That's so it says he left him for a season. You know what he was doing? He had to go back and get the book. I got to find me a trick for this fellow. He, he won't fall for nothing I said. So let me find a trick. That's 
what he does to you. Oh, you come to church, you feeling good, but he's searching. What can I use to whip on these three people? I know they, they the choir is singing and it sounds good, but let me find a trick I can put on. <laughs> I always tell y'all every first Sunday, you're going to face something. Today, tomorrow, next week, you're going to face something. You got to have something in you to fight back. And if you don't have nothing in you, then... You're, you're just, just food for the dog. You got to have something in you to be able to stand in this evil day. Amen. 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 All right. One announcement I forgot. Emmy, happy birthday, lady. Tomorrow is Emmy's birthday. things. Well, all I want to do is offer you help. Now, uh, you know, they say come to the altar. Well, I'm offering help because it takes more than you to fight this devil. Because he, listen, he's a, he has his, his PhD in sin. He knows how to trick. He's been at this since the beginning. So all we want to do is strengthen one another. Okay? So, anybody need the help? We just want to help. That's all. And I'm not trying to put nobody on front street or nothing. You know, but we just offer help. We just offer help. That's all. If you need help, if you've been in a struggle, maybe still in the struggle, and need a little oomph, that's why we need Amen. Anyone need a needed prayer? Amen. Because all we can do is offer. We don't make nobody do nothing. Amen. And like I say, I'm not trying to put nobody on front street. So I guess what? We're going to ask you to stand. Everybody. Now Jesus tells us, come to the altar of mercy. And when you are there,
You know how you do that? Lord, forgive me. Forgive me, Lord. See, God makes it so simple. He didn't ask you to turn the flip in the eye. He said, forgive me. That's all. Just forgive me. And anything that may be there, let it go. Let it go. It's not worth carrying around. Yeah, but you don't know what they said to me. Let it go. It's not worth it. You carry it all that extra weight, and whoever said it is dancing in the streets. They don't care. But we carry burdens around. Ah, oh, they spoke to me wrong. Ah, oh, they said this. Let it go. It's not worth it. That's how I stay free. I don't believe in carrying people's burdens or carrying people on my shoulders. Because that's what you're doing. You're carrying people on your shoulders. They treated me wrong. They just let it go. They don't care. Why should I? So if they, and now there may come a time when they get hurt. And guess who they call? And if they do, I don't mention nothing. I don't mention nothing they do to me. I say, God bless you. I want God's best for you. Amen. And I mean that. I don't carry stuff. That, 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 that's too hard. Listen. I know people don't, you know, I'm 70 years old. I'm too old to be carrying stuff. I, I, I'm too old for that stuff. I learned that stuff years ago. Let it go. It don't do no good. Because I'm, I'm trying to walk up right and trying to keep my strength and keep my sanity. I ain't got time for that mess. So people say something bad to me. So. <laughs> We're getting older. We're getting older, saints of God. And we better learn some sense. Learn some sense. Because people will say stuff and do stuff and go on about their business. And you carry them around. No, 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 no. Let it go. It's not worth it. Even if it's family members. I thought I better throw that in. Even if it's family members. So what? They don't care. Why should I? <laughs> Mother Red, one of our beloved mothers, started this tip start this church. She said, she had a famous saying, if you call me a dog, I ain't no bark. Uh -uh. That would satisfy you, but I ain't giving you that satisfaction. So if you say something bad about me, I'm not going to satisfy you. I'm not going to get upset with you. I got too much to live for. Prescription. I'm sick of that stuff. And Doc 
doctors don't show no mercy. They act like you rich. They write them they here, have another one, have another one. to be kind and courteous. 
churches. Children don't know. They have to be taught. That's all. Amen. Mm. So as we go, we come to the table. Lord Jesus, we thank you for your blood and for your flesh. God, we thank you for it. God, as we partake of your body and of your blood, help us, oh God, to understand that you love us more than anyone can say. Thank you for doing it. Thank you for dying for us. Thank you for sacrificing yourself for us. Do it, oh God, and we thank you for it even now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank God. The younger uh, Brenda and Angie.
listen to me or would you repeat after me? Let the words of my mouth and the meditations of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O oh Lord, my strength and my redeemer. Let us commune together. Hallelujah. 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 And be mindful now. He said, This is my body. Where are you going to take Jesus' body? Mm. And then it says, He took the cup. And when he had supped, he told them, Drink you all of it. So let us commune together. Those in the aisle, in the uh, pews, pass it to the aisle, they will be picked up.
the upper room, they went out into the garden. And you know what? That's where the victory was won. Because that's where Jesus said, not my will, but your will be done. So saints of God, be blessed. And God bless you.